So if you've got children like I've got, then you probably have already experienced some of the things that I'm going to talk about right now. You know, especially with my oldest daughter, ever since she was small and she was doing homework for the first time when she was in like kindergarten or even when she was in preschool, I would always tell her, Haley, do quality work. And then I would ask her, Haley, what is the definition of quality work? And she would say, the definition of quality work, Daddy, is doing it right the first time. And I would say, why do you want to do it right the first time? And she'd say, because if you don't do it right the first time, you just have to do it all over again. <laughs> I'm like, that's right, okay? So I've been telling both my daughters to do quality work from the time that they were old enough to understand even what that means. But yet still, to this day, right, I have to get on to them for cleaning their room kind of half-heartedly, making up their bed half-heartedly, you know, doing their homework half-heartedly, and I use half-heartedly in lieu of half which is the way that most parents would describe what their kids do, right? But the bottom line is that we're, I'm always going around behind my kids and I'm, and I'm telling them, listen guys, when I say clean up your room, it doesn't mean shove everything under the bed. It means do it the right way. Do quality work. Because if you do quality work, it means you only have to do it once. So you might think you're shortcutting things by shoving it all under the bed, but in reality, you're just creating more work for yourself because now you got to pull it out all back out from under the bed and then you got to put it back where it was supposed to go the first time I told you to put it away, right? And the same thing goes with homework. You know, my, my oldest daughter would be doing her homework and she'd misspell words and just keep going. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Go back, erase, rewrite. I would make a rewrite thing sometimes two or three or four or five times if her writing wasn't neat enough. Now at the time, she thought that was a little overkill, right? It's like, dad, okay. But what I was trying to teach my daughter was that doing things right the first time is infinitely more efficient than doing it half-heartedly the first time. Because inevitably, you're just going to have to redo it again, and you're going to have to do it right when you do it the next time, which means that, obviously, it's taken longer to do it poorly and then do it all over again than if you had just done it right the first time. My father used to say to me when I was younger, he said, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing Right. Now, see, we've all heard that one, right? So what does this really mean? What are these lessons we teach our children, these lessons our parents taught us? What are they really teaching us? What are they really sharing with us? And I want you to know that I believe that if we would carry that lesson through, that quality work lesson, that if it's worth doing, it's worth doing right. If we would carry that through to adulthood, we would find ourselves surrounded with so much abundance and make your head spin. Here's why. The world does not pay for mediocrity. It never has. Here's what the world pays for. The world pays for efficiency and quality. You see, when you take a job, for example, if you do just what is required of the job and you do it just well enough that they don't fire you, well, then what happens is they'll pay you just enough so you don't quit. <laughs> and that's the arrangement that most people have with their employers, believe it or not, right? But if you come in and you do quality work, in other words, you do it right the first time and you give a hundred percent and you make sure that it's done correctly from start to finish A to B, what happens is you'll be the kind of person that gets promoted or is given raises or is given greater amounts of supervision, which then leads to a better resume, which then may lead to a better career path down the road. You'll be the kind of person that advances and is seen, but not by belittling others or do it, but just simply by doing quality work. You'll develop a reputation for someone who does quality work, who does it right the first time every time, but you see, that is a habit, and it doesn't just go in our jobs. It's also in our businesses. It's also in our relationships. It's also with our spirituality. You know, if you'll do it right the first time, it's faster and much more effective than if you did it wrong and had to turn around and do it all over again, right? Take a situation maybe with your spouse, right? Your spouse says something to you that maybe sets you off or just hits you the wrong way, right? Well, if you handle it right the first time, <laughs> all right, then maybe it works itself out and that conversation is 30 seconds and it's, honey, I didn't mean it that way, I'm sorry, and it's over and you go on with your day and life is good. However, if you don't handle it so well the first time, then guess what? Now you got to hash it out. Now you got to go through it. Now it's, now it's going to take much longer to get through a lot more hurt feelings, maybe a lot more things said you didn't need saying and, and hearing things that you didn't want to hear and it just creates problems, right? Handling things right the first time. Doing quality work is a lesson that I'm just trying like crazy to teach my children. 
but it's a lesson that I can take to myself in adulthood and that you can take for yourself in adulthood. If we will learn to do things well the first time, do quality work, we'll find abundance unfolding in our lives because if you're doing quality work, it means you're doing quality work. And if you're doing quality work, it means that you're doing it right the first time, every time, and that is what the world will pay for. So you'll begin to see abundance in your business, abundance in your job, abundance in your relationships, abundance in your spirituality, abundance in your health and wellness. All of these things will begin to come together because you simply had the philosophy that if it's worth doing, it's worth doing right. And I would add to it that if it's worth doing, it's worth doing right the first time. So armed with that knowledge, do some quality work out there today and make it your best day.